Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to have a bit of a play today. Um, I'm making a folio here, so it's hopefully going to be like a folio and, you know, with a kit um, to go into my shop. And I just thought that I would come along and do some bits with you guys. So it's a little bit different for me, um, this particular folio, because I have done a fabric cover for it, which I haven't decorated up yet so it's you know as yet undecorated but if I just kind of show you this is the outside cover um haven't decided yet you know how I'm going to decorate it but yeah I just thought that I would bring you guys along um and we would kind of have a play and look about filling it so if I just move the folio out the way I have also done a little sorry I'm just trying to balance the folio to the side without it just toppling over I've also um, taken a cover of some sheet music um, so this is a vintage cover as you can see it's pretty old and you know quite delicate um, but I love the look of that kind of thing so I have decorated up the front with some of that gorgeous piano paper that I got in happy mail a bit of sheet music here, a piece from um, Children's Encyclopedia there, and some doily pieces. One of my little book plates um, with some brads. And what I did was I originally was going to bind it as a journal, but to be honest, it was so delicate, you know, as you can see. I mean, I haven't torn this, you know, this is how this was, but I, I, I like the look of that. Um, but obviously that was going to prove too difficult or too delicate, sorry, to, you know, incorporate into a journal. So what I decided to do, and I have seen Barbara over at 49 Dragonflies um, do these kinds of journals quite a bit lately, is where you kind of make a journal with that loose binding. So what I've done, I've just started, and this was when I kind of thought, actually, I'll come along and do a, you know, bit of a video. So I've just started sorting out some papers, so it's going to be, um, you know, not a really huge journal or anything like that, but just a few pages in it. So this is a vintage book page, and I'm just going to incorporate that in there as well. So we we'll just tuck that in. Then here I've got some of my vintage documents which I have copied and coffee dyed. So I'll just cut that down and we'll include that in there as well. You know, I want it to have quite an eclectic mix of stuff inside it. Okay. I have to say I'm really loving how the folio is looking so far. It's taking a very different shape to how I planned it originally. Well, not that I really planned it, but how I envisaged it. Um, I was going to keep it very much blues and things. And then for some reason, I just ended up incorporating this paper, which is from my Victorian florals background kits, which kind of didn't really go, but for some reason, that sort of eclectic <laughs> thing that was going on looked kind of quite good so i'm saying kind of really a lot today i've noticed that already so i apologize for that i'm just going to trim these pages down because they're looking quite quite big there okay okay so we'll just trim those down and then I thought I would include some of that gorgeous piano paper. So as you can see, that's where I've obviously used that piece on the front. So I'll just have a look. I wonder if we could have it that way round. So I'll just trim down here. Honestly, what a wally. When I received this, <laughs> if you saw my Happy Mail video when I received this, I had seen people using this piano paper before um, in their work and I just thought it was just really, really nice. However, I didn't really know how it obviously worked and I was kind of baffled as to, you know, how anyone would actually read this. And it was only when I obviously had lovely ladies out there who mm, clearly a little bit more, 
a little bit more sensible than me, who pointed out this is for those, um, you know, uh, music box type pianos. I mean, actually, the type that I would associate a little bit with, you know, like horror films, <laughs> where something's like playing along to itself. There's something a little bit scary about that, isn't there? And they're often those creepy fairgrounds, aren't they? And yeah, they have the creepy fairgrounds with the creepy pianos playing away to themselves. So yeah, thank you so much to those lovely ladies who clearly must have just thought, what is wrong with this woman? <laughs> Why doesn't she know that? But yeah, I just didn't know that. So um, it, it explained a lot, obviously. And of course, as soon as they said it, it made perfect sense and um yeah so um thank you so much to those people who have enlightened me with um you know what should have been pretty obvious to me in the first place but yeah apparently it wasn't okay so i'm just going to sort of bundle up a few pieces so i might put in another one of those vintage book pages oh that's got a little little picture on there i'm not I probably prefer to have it just plain I think so just pop that in in there I think otherwise I feel like I've got everything interesting going on in one cluster and then we'll just do final final sheets here and you know again I mean I'm really making a very sort of rudimentary job of this you know and not measuring or anything and all the pages are not going to be the same size but I mean I quite like that and I think it adds you know to the interest of then you know what's essentially going to be a little journal so I'm going to pop those like that and then what I'm going to do I think is just stick these down to my sewing machine and stitch them down the middle which that leads me on actually to I can do a little demo of that beautiful or not beautiful but that really useful um stapler that I got so hold on so I got this fantastic little gizmo from um Alana um a few weeks ago in happy mail and I at first obviously had to google it because I didn't even know how to use it so I have done that now and wow it's so cool and so clever so what I'm going to do is basically with this little gadget here, I'm trying to think of a, a suitable name. So let me just check that my pages are sort of, you know, roughly where I want them to be. And then what you can do is you just attach your edge here and then press down and all of those little pages are clipped in. Now it doesn't obviously help because my pages here are um, oops, all different sizes. It obviously works better if they're the same size but you can hopefully see how cool that is. And then finished, you take the other end of it where you've got like a little ledge type bit and then you just hook it under the edge of your little stapler thing and you push it off. So it's a really handy little gadget. And again, then you reuse the little clips by just pushing them back into the top. So I'll just sort of show you again. I just then pop this to the side, to the edge, and then just, and that's just clamped those pages shut. How clever is that? So thank you so much, Alana. Obviously, it did take me a little while to fathom it out. And obviously, I did have to um, yeah, work it out for myself um, before I could actually get started with it. But it's so brilliant. So, yes, thank you so much. So I'm going to run these down to the sewing machine and just stitch along through the middle. Um, I don't want it too bulky or anything. So I'm just going to, you know, stitch it like that. And then I will be back. Right. I am back from the sewing machine. So I did add actually a couple more pages um, after I after I flicked the video off. I've obviously brought the scissors from down at the sewing machine back up with me. Um, so I did add a couple more pages to the journal. So I just added these um, manuscript 
type pages. So there's just a few more pages in there. And then, oops, let me just get rid of that. So, yeah, I've been watching um, Barbara recently, who has been making quite a few where she just binds them in then with some thread. So I'm just going to have a go at that. So let me just cut my thread. Okay. So my journal pages, obviously, they're all stitched in already. And then what I'm going to do is just tie them in. And I might just go around twice just so it's, you know, got a bit more hold it, Ooh, holding it in. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so like that. And then just going to tie a bow, I think, on the outside. So basically, I have reinforced this um, piece with the Tyvek because otherwise, as you can see, I mean, it's really very delicate and it, you know, wouldn't stand up to this kind of thing. So, but hopefully now it will. So there we go. That's my journal pages in there. Oh, I like how that looks with that baker's twine there. So let me move that to one side. Do we think that's nice how it is or do we want anything else on there? You know what we haven't got on here. We've got literally no lace. It's completely naked. What on earth was I thinking? So let me just squash it down because otherwise it keeps obviously moving up. So I've just got some of my, you know, that favourite lace that I'm using at the moment. So let me bring in those other scissors. And I just really like to cut this down like at a sort of, you know, raggedy way. And I might just, yeah, where would we like some lace? Maybe there, sort of like hanging off a little bit, hanging off over the side, I think. Well, it's quite nice there, to be honest. Oh, I quite like it everywhere. Everywhere I put it, I'm, I'm liking it. So I think actually there. So let's just pop that on. I'm just going to hot glue that down just because that's nice and quick then. Again, just press that in. That was a bit hot. Okay. Okay, and then let's have a bit of bling on here because, well, why wouldn't we? So I just trim that down. Just trimming this down because I thought perhaps we'll have a, you know, a long piece like that just going across there. So, oops. so yeah this has got lots of actual vintage elements on it um, as has the folio, <coughs> folio itself um, so it's going to be sort of a mixture of like old and new stuff there we go oh I love how that looks it's very very cute sorry I'm now now I've got glue threads all over me so um Sorry about that. Okay. So going inside, now do we want to do anything here? Like make any sort of pocket? So remember our pages are, you know, although they're stitched together as a signature, they're loose in the journal, if you see what I mean. So I might have to tie this tighter um, in a moment, but I'll do that sort of after the video rather than fiddle around trying to do it whilst you're all watching. So I've got quite a few different things here that we could pop some sort of pocket or something on the front. I mean, also that would help to strengthen this front piece, which is obviously, you know, like we said, quite fragile there. So it might be useful to actually have one or two things as like some pockets. And I've got these gorgeous bits here. These are just some printables that are in my shop. So again, the mix of like the old and the new. And I'm just wondering whether we could like layer up a couple of pieces on the side. Let me just trim that down. So I'm kind of wondering whether we could like layer up 
something like that down the side. Or What do you think? I mean, obviously there's this big corner is missing from the um, cover. That's how that was. I haven't torn that off. That's how, you know, how that was. But I mean, I think that's, you know, that's part of using sort of vintage, vintage things, isn't it? So, you know, it doesn't really bother me that it's like that. So... Well, I think what I might do is pop this down here, probably up there so that it hopefully captures all of those torn edges. So let's just do that in the first instance. So we'll just glue that down. Oops. Okay. And this I've just coffee dyed some old scrap bit paper and um, you know that's what it's what it's been stamped on so that was what was on the back of there right now glancing around looking for my dry wipe so I might have to nip off and get that now sorry sorry guys right let me nip and get that I won't be a second Here we go. So I'm just going to press that down a bit more. Like that. Okay. So that's nice on there and then should we have a bit of lace or something there? Or maybe some doily? Maybe just a bit of doily there to just sort of decorate that piece up. So we'll just pop that on. Let me just get some book page to glue that against. Still not great with the glue stick, so um, hold on two moments. So just get some book page. Come on. Okay. Right. Okie dokie. Glue that down here. Like that. What else have I got laying around? I've got some of these. Which again, these are some vintage pieces. So I mean, I could have something like that. Maybe on there. to, you know, finish that off. We could have it down there, I suppose, actually, maybe looks better, what do you think? Perhaps we'll have it there. Right, so again, I'm just going to ink that up. I mean, it is a vintage piece, but it's not overly, you know, discoloured or anything. I'm just going to check that I'm in frame. Yep, hopefully. So we'll just ink that up a little bit. down there. Okie dokie. I've got this little piece here. This is just for some, from some vintage sheet music but we could could have that on there. I love um, 
the pieces, you know, on the vintage sheet music where it's just got like who it's by or the copyright or something. I just think they're really nice. <laughs> to me, they're like the favourite, you know, my favourite parts of the cover. So, um, yeah. So I think I'll just glue that one down there. And obviously, you know, all of this is just strengthening, really, the um, the cover. Okay. Okie dokie. So, I think I need something just down here in this little piece. Those pages are, um, I'm finding a little bit annoying. I might have to actually stitch them in. I love the look of it. But to be honest, I could stitch them in and still do the baker's twine, couldn't I? Yeah, I might do that. So I'm just going to undo the baker's twine. And then what I'll do, I will just probably stitch these in. And then just do that baker's twine around them again. So I'm just going to remove them whilst we're, you know, whilst we're decorating this up. Because it's just then a bit easier to work with if they're not there. So... Honestly, I obviously need to practice that technique a little bit more because Barbara's turned out fantastic and I've watched a couple of videos where she's used that method recently and they've you know worked out really, really well. So I uh, don't know quite what I'm what I'm doing wrong, but yeah, not not loving it on my my version. So again I'm just going to hot glue this down. Okay, and then we might just want to do something on the back as well because obviously the back also is pretty fragile and you can see it's got this big you know crease here so I think what we'll do I've just got this book page oh that's so perfect look couldn't have been made any better could it <laughs> I mean that was just lingering around on my desk I honestly you know, it wasn't for this, it was just, it was a, you know, unfinished thing from something else. So, um, yeah, it, it looked like it was actually made for it, but it wasn't. So I'm just going to stick that, I think, on the back, which will help to just strengthen that entire back section. So, there we go. Just put plenty of glue because, um, you know, obviously the more it's glued down, the more it's going to help to strengthen that. So I'll just pop that like that. Okay, dokey. Yeah, that was just um, unbelievably lucky. The size of that one, wasn't it? It just literally couldn't have been more perfect that piece and that never happens does it normally you know normally I'd be hunting around for ages trying to find the perfect piece so I just press that down now what I could do is I have this little strip of that florals I could just tear this down and incorporate this and the reason being is obviously because I've used this throughout the journal so to me it feels a bit like you know it would just tie it in. So I might just do that. So I'll just tear that down. And just glue that on there. Okie dokie. Oh come back. Come back lid. So we just glue that back on there. Not, not back on it wasn't it wasn't there in the first place but I'll just glue that there sorry just trying to get it right with you know snug with the edge okay so I like that and then again I've got another just another little piece you know from some of the sheet music which you know I was talking about saying 
that I really like. So again, I might just tear another one of these little people. Well, they're not little people, they're they're big famous artists of um from history, so <laughs> yes, not not little people at all, but you know what I mean, these little heads that I've got here. So perhaps we'll just put him up there maybe. So again, I'm just going to ink him up a bit. Okay. I'm just going to pop him there like that. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're managing to get some crafting done. It always improves every day, doesn't it? If you um, can cram in a bit of crafting somewhere along the line. Oops. Okay. And then I'm going to, I think, just have that piece. there I think so I mean it doesn't need inking at all but I will just ink that up slightly actually just before I do hmm might have to um, perhaps, perhaps we should have that there Oh, I don't know now. All right, right, I'm going to hold fire on that. I'm going to glue it onto this tab. And I will decide where to have this tab somewhere. Somewhere in this folio or journal somewhere. Because it looks really nice on the top of there, doesn't it? So, I'll just... Just stick that on there and, you know, mop it up a little bit. Okie dokie, and then should we have something else on here? Maybe like a label or something. So just have a bit of a, a bit of a look and see what I've got here beside me. So I've got a whole bunch of like coffee dyed pieces here. So perhaps we should just just have something like that. It's a bit weird, doesn't it? Probably. Well, we could have it there, I guess. That's a bit less weird. So, okay, so pop that down like that. Okay, and then obviously I'm going to sort out the, you know, the putting of the pages into this this journal in a moment as well you know probably after the video but that's our little cover now so hopefully that back piece is now strengthened and reinforced because you've got a pocket on there and obviously the front we've now got some things on there as well so I'm going to pop that to one side and we will bring the you know the journal piece itself back in, uh, the the folio itself back in oops get it the right way up it's very big, so I'm struggling to fit it onto my desk, um, you know, and keep it in camera. So let me just move things around a little bit. So it's at least the bit that we're working on is, is vaguely visible. So I've got this here. This is a belly band piece, and I was kind of debating, do I want to have this stuck here um, as just a little flip? I do think that's really nice. Um, I'd left it overnight because you know sometimes when you're kind of in two minds and then I just think it's, you know, when I feel like that, it's best to just leave it and see whether I still feel the same the next day. Because sometimes I come back the next day and think, oh, you know, definitely not. But I do still like this. So I'm um, just going to glue this down here. Okay. We'll have that like that. Again, let me just dab any excess glue off. Okay. Okay. 
and then I just want to put something on here because otherwise it looks a little bit boring um, just, just checking whether we want that little tab somewhere hmm I'm not sure I'm not sure right let's, let's hold fire on that but I have got one of my little photographs here it's a printable but that looks quite nice on there to me so I think yeah I think I'm going to pop that on there so I'll just just have it up there okay okay pop that there like that. Just again, just dab off any excess glue. So that's purely decorative. It's not a pocket or anything like that. But obviously, this is you know this is a flip, so you've got journaling space there. Okay. Now I was debating whether to put something here. So again, I might take these because it's quite nice to have the consistency, you know, running through. I'm just going to cut one of these out. Okay. Now, is that too big for there? Or does that look okay? I feel like it maybe is too big. Weirdly. Now again, I had something placed there yesterday which I was quite liking. Is it that one? I'm pretty sure it wasn't that one. Um, but today, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that that looks too big. So lucky I didn't just go for it and stick it down just cut this one out you know because it might just be that that's the wrong one you know that that's not the the one I want so let's just have a look okay. well I definitely prefer that one I don't know whether that you know whether I want to go for that one yet but I'm preferring that one to the last one let's just cut out this one you know <laughs> I know it just sounds mad but sometimes just mixing them up and having a different one is um you know can actually change the entire feel can't it so just check no I like that one I think better it's got quite a striking sort of appearance. Right, let me stand up and look down on it again because I find sometimes looking down just provides you with a different perspective to when you're sat flat. Yeah, I do like that. So I'm just going to glue that down and I'm going to glue this as a pocket. a bit lower probably okay right where's my wipe right so I'm liking how that's looking now so I haven't really put any lace or anything like that on here yet um, except for that one piece but that's all so far so the whole thing you know to me I feel it needs a bit of decorating and sprucing up now so just going to ink this um, sheet music. I mean, as you can see, obviously it's glued onto coffee dyed background. So, you know, it's only the sheet music that needs inking up. The other piece is, you know, is, um, what's the word? Well, coffee dyed, so it looks aged enough. It doesn't really need anything further. So that's that. Now, 
again we could have like a piece like that I've got Marie Antoinette there she could go on there now do I have any dwilly or oh, we've got the you know the rest of this vintage book page with obviously some more of these artists let's just tear him out and see see how he would look Not bad, not bad. Let me again just <laughs> just look down on it. Oh yeah, I think I, I quite like him. So again, I'm just going to ink him up a little bit. So as I say, I mean they are from a vintage book, but it's obviously, you know, it wasn't very discoloured or anything, so just needs a little bit of help in that direction. Okay. And uh, what else have I got laying about? Just, just seeing what else is here floating around on the desk. Well, to be fair, I mean, it's more a case of what isn't floating around on the desk, but might have a little bit of doily underneath underneath him so again let's just stick that doily piece down okay like that okay Just stick him on there. Oops, like that. Okay. Right, and I might have something else on there as well. So again, let me just have a look through my little packet of, these are my coffee dye pieces, which I haven't separated out into their little containers yet, but I've got a little label there. Maybe that's quite nice. Yeah, let's have a label, I think. Just going to keep that one out because I might have that somewhere else. So let's glue this one down. that down there okay yep I like how that looks right again let me just dab off any excess glue oh my gosh look so again I mean this has been coffee dyed this um, little label piece but having said that I might just just ink it up a little bit as well so you know just so it stands out a little bit more Again, I mean, I of course should have inked it up before sticking it down, but I didn't realise I was going to be doing that until I, you know, stepped back. Okay, so that looks really nice. And, you know, I will hold this closed with a paper clip, I think. Then this folds over and you've got like an envelope here and then you've got a um, pocket there and a pocket here. So you've got quite a bit of room here might want to put something on here again I've got obviously these little bits and bobs that I've you know cut out and things so we could have something there or we've got more of that pretty florals so let's just have a look I might actually just make a pocket I think here so if I just chop that down like there, okay, and 
Now, I was going to do like a, you know, folded pocket, but it might make it a bit too paddy. What do you think? Well, let's try it. So let me just chop that down here. And we will just try. So just going to fold in my edges. And do one. Now, oh, where's my bone folder? Okay. I'll just fold that down. That's one. Now I have to be careful because I don't want it, you know, too wide. So I'll just do that one now. Okay. And then we'll just fold it up at the bottom. I feel like quite a bit needs to come up and obviously I will trim that down probably so you can see how square looking that is. Again it might help to look down on it. Right I need to just come there like that and obviously I'll tidy this up in a moment so let's just trim that bottom bit down Trim my corners off like that. Okay. And then as you can see, that's horribly not straight. So I will trim that off there, you know, to neaten that off at the top there. Now what do you think? Do we like that as a pocket or is it too bulky? I don't think it's too bad actually. So I'm going to just trim that down slightly. Oops. Okay, now if I have a thumb hole, right. I just wanted to check that if I put a thumb hole there, I wouldn't suddenly be showing you know like that man's face and it looked really strange i can't really remember or picture how his face was but i mean actually he's right down the bottom and you know to the side so it would be fine he would not be he wouldn't be in the way so i'll just put a thumb hole here oh gosh i don't think that's very central either but Right, so we could glue that pocket down. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to glue this pocket down. Okay, now I just have to be a bit careful of, you know, like where that crease is. Because if I do go too close to that crease, it's, you know, it will get in the way of when it's folding, folding shut. So I just need to be a bit mindful of that. But aside from that, hopefully, hopefully it's okay. So let me just check that straight. I mean, actually, that thumb hole is barely visible because there's a lot going on behind there. So... You know, you can barely see the thumb hole at all, but you know, that's fine, I don't mind that. So we've got that pocket there, and of course we'll decorate that pocket up. So let's have a look and see what we can decorate that pocket up with. Again, perhaps we'll have a bit of doily or something. Oh gosh, that's like swamping the whole pocket, look. Let me just tear that down a bit, because want it quite so quite so completely covered up okay so and then we'll just decide what to pop on here sorry I'm just just making sure this is actually stuck down 
Uh, right, let's have a look and see what we've got. Well, again, I might just pop on one of my architecture pictures. <laughs> oh, it's annoying because my other ones I don't think I've coffee dyed, so I don't really want to kind of pop something on that's not coffee dyed because then to me it won't really feel like it's matching. Uh, we've got a label. Oh, that's like the wrong way up that way, isn't it? Should we just do it like that? Let's just do it like that. So. Oops, okay. Stick that down there. Oh, what have I done with my wipe now? Every time I put it down, I misplace it. Who knows? Who knows where it's gone this time? Can't see it at all. It's obviously buried under something. Right. And then we're just going to put that, I think, there. Like that. Now, I want something across here because, you know, I don't really like that sort of white space. Um effect you know I don't think that's very pleasing to the eye to be honest um so what have I got here I've got one of my little little pieces here I mean again this hasn't been coffee dyed but I guess I could ink it up quite a bit put some sheet music or something up there just having a look what else I've got so I've got some sheet music here I have also got a little bit of that napkin um, you know that I printed recently I wonder if we should have that there do you know what I think that might be the thing so again, let's just tear that down. Just tear it here as well. Yeah, maybe that. So I will Stick that on, I think, with the glue stick. I'm out of Mod Podge at the moment, so I'll just use glue stick here. So um, I hope it's going to stay on. Okay. I'm just touching these bits that I missed. Okay. Now I'm just going to ink that up because it's looking quite white. So let me just ink that a bit. Okay. Right, just sit back down. And then let me just ink this little piece here. do you think again I'm standing back up now to have a look so I'm up down like a yo-yo honestly I'm going to have the the label down there I don't know I'm not convinced by that top bit so I'm going to leave that I think plain for the minute because I don't want to you know st stick something there and then think oh I wish I hadn't put that there I wish I'd used something else so I'm just going to hold fire on that and um, come back to that. I think I'm going to stick the label on as a little pocket. So, I mean, I always do say, but you know, if you stick them on as pockets, you then have the choice, you know, you don't have to use them. 
but you have got the option to use them so it's nice to um, nice to have those options isn't it okay right and then obviously I want to do something on this side as well so I might call it quits there today um, because I know that I had mentioned about doing some shorter videos and to be honest I've lost track now of how long this has been going but I suspect it's not really very much shorter. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, <laughs> I will catch you guys another time. So thank you very much for joining me and uh, I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.